Yes. Yo, guys, check it out. All right, so I decided to start, you know, just jump right into it this morning, and I have no idea what's going on because uh, I just woke up and you know this, that, the other thing. So I, I'm here in my little station, and I guess we need to go ahead and get into something good. Um, you gonna let, you gonna let, let me in my ship? Thank you, thank you. All right, so if you've been following and tracking on what's going on, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this out there to you. All right, so we have a 27 billion isk to cover everything that is in our escrow right now, and well, clearly we don't have 27 billion isk, but that's okay because that's what margin trading is all about. Now we do have 10 billion isk. In our bankroll right now which hopefully we can cover all of this stuff right here now we are gonna have a while before these orders get filled but I have been noticing that a lot of my orders have not been filled um, check this out whenever I said that I was injecting Plex into into the actual mineral market I wasn't kidding but I'm not sitting there buying like everything at the top prices like in the in the sell category I just, I'm not gonna spend for 450 on some trit that's just there or you know I'm not gonna go crazy with the Mexilon buying it at 76 per unit I mean I'm not gonna do it and that, that's, that's the thing whenever whenever you do have you know a, a good amount of money a big chunk to spend or invest with you still got to you got to play your cards right. You still got to try to make that money. You got to inject your your actual isk where you're going to make your profit at. All right. Now, I know a lot of you might be like, "Oh, well, you're just you're just buying a whole bunch of trit." Yeah, I am. There's like a small little margin to work with when it comes down to trit. But you can still make a lot of money. It just depends on how much volume you can trade with. Now, that being said, let's see if we can't see a little bit of this price history right here. Now, we're going to look right into it a little bit closer. All right, so as you can see, it has been going up. But I guess this is like all the, the volume that it's been trading in. And... Right around here is when I, 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 I started getting the game again. I, I started playing playing the game again. And I have a little theory that basically, you know, I've been sitting here buying all this stuff, you know, at like little rock bottom prices, you know. Like in the Forge right now, I'm, I'm buying it for 410 That's pretty, pretty good. Like if you take a look at some of the other regions. Now, take some of the other regions, I'm buying it at 3 57 in another region and that's the region-wide buy order all right now, I can't stress this enough a region-wide buy order is by far something that I like to use because I can just I don't know go over here and get whatever and just go from station to station picking everything up and consolidating everything and selling it to the highest person because when you sell to the highest person you don't have any brokerage fees or anything like that y'all all you have to do is just sell immediately and you have no broker fees and that right there you can take a big chunk of like millions and sell it to somebody with no fees and that's pretty much how you can you know make all your little bit of profit right there but like i i said before oh god it's, it's not wanting me to, to even explain this. All right, so once I started getting into it, I started buying everything that I could. And then what would happen is, is I would not trade it. Uh, it would just sit there and stockpile until it has enough to actually go and build up so I can go pick it up and go sell it. But see, because of that, volume has gone down because somebody's taken and stockpiling all the stuff I'm stockpiling all the stuff until I can find a good, better time to sell it. So that's what I think is going on right here. And 
I don't know. I could be wrong. It could be just something else that's going on, but I would like to believe that because I threw myself right into this market, things are actually changing ever so slightly. I mean, one, one person's not going to like devastate the market, but it does look good what I'm doing right now. And I'm not really losing any money. It, the price could drop, to be completely honest. The price could drop and I'd still be all right. And that's what you got got to sit there and worry about. If the price is going to drop, am I going to be all right? And that's why sometimes it's best to just breathe. Like, literally let your isk breathe. Like, if you buy something, sell it off, liquidate. And then just breathe like that. Just buy, liquidate. Buy, liquidate. And eventually, you know, it doesn't even matter if you're taking losses. Okay? And I, I could get a lot more into it, but think of it like this. If you're buying in all the different regions, okay? You have low orders over here, low orders over here, medium orders right here, and... and you're just trying to save face so you're buying over here at, at a very good price which is kind of what I'm doing so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the average of all of those all of those things that you're buying and just take the average and that and make that average buy price and that that's that's the number you're working with for your profit margin all right so you could be losing a little bit of isk right here because you're 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 paying a little bit too much but all these other things are so low, it's gonna gonna lower the average buy price right here. So you're gonna have a lot to work with, and you got you got got to try to play with a little bit of averages and stuff like that. That way you can keep the market kind of moving by you know going higher with your price in some areas, and you keep the market moving. And sometimes it's, it's I don't like the stockpile stuff. I want to sell it. I want to I want to make my is grow but I, I I don't know but that's just with the trip market now I also have been starting to go really kind of crazy with uh, the ores as well and just in the forge region that's it because mostly I mean I'm not gonna be able to sit there and refine everything unless I'm at one of my stations that I've got my rep up with or anything like that so basically I'm, I'm, I'm doing the best I can trying to give you guys the best prices possible here in the forge region now I, I know I know some people are out there like well one one dude's not gonna sit there and raise the price on, on, on any specific thing you're wrong people can't you just you, you I don't even I don't even know how to explain it, but I know that I'm doing something good And that's really all that that matters to me as long as I'm helping out you guys Even though you don't know me. We're not in the same corporation It's just you know I'm throwing my buy orders up and giving you money if you can fill it and if you if If somebody comes up and makes a, a buy order, that's a little bit more than mine That's good news for you, right? And that just means that I just have to keep inching up, inching up and taking over right there just like that. So that's what I'm doing is I'm trying to push the prices up, the minimum price. I'm trying to push that up to give you guys the best prices. Now, and if I'm not actually buying your stuff, that means someone else has beat my price. And now they're offering you a lot better. And then next thing you know, I'm going to come up there. And we'll, I'm gonna take their spot, and then you're gonna be paying me. Well, I'm gonna be paying you again for your stuff, and just keep that price going up slowly. But I'm not gonna sit there and go crazy and go all out like, just give me all the stuff at right? the 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 average market buying price. Just give it all to me. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm like, give me all your stuff, like. 10% below the average price so I can have that little bit of wiggle room to make a little bit of money on the side you know because if you're not actually making money then yeah that could be a little bit more detrimental to the economy um, especially if, if I'm just sitting there throwing away iskies 
no, I can't do that. I have to be really smart about this. I have to not throw away my iskies, but I have to give them to the people and then try to make my money back. But that, that I mean, that's just with trit tritanium. And I know that trit is one of the biggest things that I actually have stock in, I guess. But let's see. We're going to take a look at some of this minimum stuff right here. We're going to look at minimum 1 million. Just, just to have an idea of what all we have everywhere. Yeah, we, we have a pretty good stockpile of things worth in the millions right now. So, I mean, all we got to do is pick that up and throw it to the, the highest buyer right there. And oh my word, this is this is quite surprising. It they it, it's everywhere, and that's just to say that we have a lot more items just like in the all at item category. Holy smokes, it's still going, yo! It's still going. And if we was to stop and take a look at one of these little random things, we'll, we'll go right here, Durapont. Oh, that has four million. Okay, well. We don't even have minerals here. We have an expanded cargo hold there, though. Luminaire, 5,000 trit. 72,000 trit in Kaldari Prime. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we have stuff everywhere, literally just everywhere. But it's in small quantities, and we have to wait until that builds up before we go and pick it up. Or we can just wait until markets are looking just fine somebody has a higher buy order than us region wide it hardly rarely happens but when that does happen it's time to like sit there and go oh well i have 1000 pyrite here for you sell and they go up and be like oh i have a thousand for you now sell and you just dump all your scraps to the next person i, I know it sounds horrible and it actually is horrible you're just selling your scraps to another person, but I mean, you gotta liquidate. You gotta liquidate, and that's just how 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 it goes. And eventually, one day, somebody is gonna sit there at that station and have all that stuff, and it's gonna be in the millions, and then they're gonna go and pick it up and take it somewhere. But it's not gonna be me with one thousand right now, so it, it would probably get sold eventually. But hopefully, hopefully, now we've all taken a look at the Tritanium market. Now the Pyrite market. I have no idea what this looks like because, I mean, sometimes graphs, they, they just get right by me. But it, it says that the price looks like it's going up. But the price, to be completely honest, if, if you take a look at it from this angle right here by the numbers, I mean, to be completely fair, I, I, I think it wants to move up to six, but... It really doesn't because there's there, there's a big backlog of stuff that's being sold right now, and it, it it's quite a lot. At the okay, we got 501 million units at selling at 583 in Jita right now, and that's that's a pretty big big chunk of stuff to be worrying about right there. So that's gonna pretty much keep the push from going up. So it's probably gonna start going down at any point in time but it might just stay around the same i mean there's still gonna be a profit margin in it for everybody it's not gonna like drop like like a rock i mean it's just not gonna happen but the thing is uh you keep moving so fast that i can't keep up with you no stop it i'm trying to read okay i'll calm down now all right so yeah the minimum right here looks like 544 and that's a region wide buy order and it's not gonna last too very long because I don't know it just everyone is starting to fight for the mineral market and everything is starting to be more individualized to the actual individual stations in the forge region now if you're not in the forge you're not really getting all the actual information of all the market details and stuff like that because if you're just sitting in your own region you know all regions are different but the forge remains the same jeter remains the same it is the main trade hub and the forge is the main economic activity of eve now i know you guys sitting there out there out in all segment oh, it doesn't apply to me i'm in no it applies to you too 
Uh, I'm just I'm just saying. Uh, I know that in Nolsec you can, you know, make bazillions of iskies an hour and stuff like that. Well, if you're in high sec, you just you can still make a lot of iskies. But I mean, to be completely fair, uh, you know, high sec is where everyone goes to, you know, get a little bit of money so they can get slingshot out in the low sec. You know, so you know, keep working hard, guys. We're gonna see if we can't make some ships and stuff like that here in the here in the near future. But you know, I'm just gonna keep working on my mineral market, your mineral market, giving you the best deals, especially if you're a miner. I, I'm just, I'm I'm doing my best, guys. I'm doing my best. It is what it is. But I guess until the next time, I think we've done good here. We've done good. Oh. Oh, before I forget, before I forget. Alright. So, right here, my total net worth. Alright, so it says this is 25 billion, almost 26 billion iskies. Now, I've been, I've been wondering, when did this thing come about? Like, this has not always been here. I, I, at least I don't remember it being here. It might be something new, but I mean, it's been years since I, it's, I've came back from years. But I, I guess we have the combined assets total going up to like almost 10 billion, and we still got 6 billion in market escrow and a wallet balance of 10 billion. So, what? Does that mean we're like 50% in assets right now? I mean, that's cool and all. Let's just hope we can turn that right back into iskies and, and, and just... Ugh. But here, here it all is. Here, it, Oh, yeah. I, uh, I'm like... Yeah. I gotta I got, I got check. I gotta check, check something. Oh, my God. All right. So, I'm, I'm taking a look. I'm going to see if I can't... I gotta check, check something. Oh, there we go. Oh, it does look like we got... Ah, there we go. It, it's all good. So, I guess what I need to start doing is heading down to, I guess, one of my stations. I'm, I'm not ready to leave yet. Let's see. We're going to have to search for... Uh... Minimum 100, which should take us to... There we go. Now, I'm so happy with this little fast, speedy ship right here. Now, I had another one of these bad boys right here. Like, no joke for realsies. Like, I had another one of these ships, and it got blown up just, just the other day. Like, apparently these things are, I don't know. It's like this person right here, they decided to blow me up right outside Jita, right outside the actual thing, and it's a blockade runner, and he, like, I lost like 65 million isk. It's not, it's not happy days, yo. Not happy days at all. But, I need to learn how to, uh, what do you call, uh, I guess, do something with the bounty, not the bounties, but the uh, kill rights. I don't know how the kill rights thing works, but I want to give my kill rights to somebody that can go and kill that person. I think that would be just great. I'm just saying. But we had one ship blow up just like that, but it looks like these guys right here, and I did not get this, get this down, but it's you know why, and uh, I guess it's uh, ten sekawatawawa to ten ten skawatakawa something. Whoever this person is, well, they were. This was like I guess it was right around Narja or something like that. And what had happened was, is I was like, I came right out of the gate, and I'm like. Well, where am I gonna go now? So I'm sitting there checking everything. Next thing you know, I have all the meer meer meer, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm being attacked. So I like go in there and I like just throw on the shields and like next thing you know, I'm like taking like some serious damage and like there's like two of them. It's like a point five 
system so like I'm like oh my god is Concord coming or what so I'm like sitting there repping up my shields and I'm like is this it working so I'm like going into my afterburners and it's like this isn't working and I'm like whatever the medium hole repair I turn that on to I'm like oh my god I'm gonna die I'm gonna lose all this money again but it started repeating and it started giving me health just enough to where boom boom both of those guys got blown up and I was like oh yeah y'all failed and I'm like like driving like flying straight to the nearest station so I can repair and get the heck out of there but that just goes to show it you know, even it, 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 a lot of you guys were like, oh, "Well, you shouldn't be AFK and flying, and you wouldn't get ganked." Now, that, 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 that does not happen. It does not work like that. Look, I was an AFK, and I almost got ganked. Okay, it, even in my obelisk, I don't AFK fly. If if, I, if I'm going AFK, I'm sitting in a station for a little while. All right, like that, it's just how it is. If I'm out in space, I'm like, maybe if I'm in my obelisk and I'm in the middle of warping from gate to gate, I'm like, maybe I can go use the bathroom. I have like a, at least a minute and 30 seconds because obelisks are, are slow. Okay, they're slow. So you got like a little bit of time, but. I mean, eh. yeah, it is what it is. Oh, you know what? We should probably start checking up on some stuff real quick. Oh God, there we go. That fixed everything. So I guess what I need to go ahead and do is I need to go ahead and take a look at all the actual mechanics of all the stuff that I'm trying to buy on the market. And here in the forge yeah it looks like I'm good with that I'm above the regional orders or at least all of that stuff so I'm good right there let's see solid pyroxerxes okay so top one is five jump oh look looky right there he went one above me so I'm, I'm gonna go one two three four five six actually I'm just gonna go a lot more above him. I know I'm bad, yo. There we go. That changed everything. All right, rich plague class. Uh, as you can see, these guys are absolutely just, you know, fighting with me every step of the way to try to get that low price. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Let's see, as your plego place, uh, we're gonna go ahead and send it right over that modify order. Actually, we'll just go with 62.97 because nobody gets a higher price than me, and I'm not gonna play that that go up by one game. I'm going up by ten. Let's go. And let's see, what else can we get? I guess we're going to go ahead and work on this dense Veldspar. I guess we don't need to. That's actually solid, good, and golden. I wonder why no one's actually mining that. Actually, don't mine that stuff. It's, it's pretty bad for you. And it looks like we're good right there, too. Okay. And what about this stuff? Ooh, looks like we're not good right there. They went up by one. Look at them. They went up by one. Now I guess we could just hold on to that, and it's just they just gotta work through about three million units, and that's not gonna take very long. And did we already do this one? No, we sure didn't. All right, let's go up by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, there we go. So that should put us back on top. This should maybe, just maybe, start allowing some of this stuff to go through. But, I mean, still, waiting for, for orders is pretty much, it's going to take a while. And it usually does. I mean, it's just the reality of it. I mean, orders take a while to fill, and sometimes they don't even fill all the way. But, to be completely honest, as long as I'm getting, like, a few million over here, or a few million over here, you know, 
I'm really happy because that's that's when it's like, hey, you got a million to go pick up, and go do it. But whenever I'm sitting there getting like a thousand here, a thousand there, it takes a while for the thousands to end up to be a million, and and then I can finally try to make some profit. Now I don't really like to do my sell orders and stuff like that. I don't really mess with all that stuff. I just take it straight to the the top of this little list right here and try to go sell it for that. I dump on people. I dump on their orders because I'm trying to fill that order and it, I, it just, you have to go with the best price and especially if you're, you're playing the game that where I'm doing it because you can be a station trader or you can be a trader and a hauler and I don't like to do the station trading thing too much. I like like hauling things around like a boss. Straight up boss. Alright, and that being said, I think we're going to have a little bit of... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, there it is. Oh, scared me. It scared me so much. Alright, looks like we're getting in the black horse right now. My, my awesome obelisk. And it is time to flip all this stuff around. We're going to make some iskies today. I hope. I hope and I pray that we will make some iskies, iskies, iskies today. And I hope that you guys do too. That would be really nice. Ooh, should we, should we go figure out, like, should we, like, move all this trit out and go make, like... 450 and Jita because Jita's like four jumps away oh god I'm gonna get str stream sniped it's gonna be bad yo but I mean I guess I guess we can just go ahead and take it all over 89 million units straight to Jita let's go Wish me luck, cause this is this is gonna be fantastic. All right, so let's go ahead and throw all this stuff down. We're gonna take a good long gander at this baby going out of the station. Now, a homie says that I should probably like go make like stuff like about a hundred meters out so I can fly straight out the dock, but that's gonna take like so much work. I mean, I, to be fair, I mean, things that take a lot of work is probably worth it in the long run. But, I mean... I love the fact that they have advertisements everywhere for corporations. I think it's cool. They've had, they, they used to have that stuff even when I was still playing back, like, years ago. That's when they started doing it. I thought it was I thought it was cool then, but now it's it's getting extra cool. I like it. I like it. Good job. Good job, Eve Online people. You guys are all awesome. Oh, oh, oh. Oh yeah. That's right. Happiness in a bottle. Well, Actually, yeah, a bunch of happiness in a bottle. A solar harvest. We got something called Zynga. It's called Zynga, see? Zynga. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's that vape life for real. Like, I have not had a cigarette in a, in a, a couple days. Because I, like, ran out and I don't want to go buy any more. Because I, I have these, these little vape pen things and I got this one too. So I have literally like two of these things. I guess that one didn't want to give me all that smoke. I, I don't know. I don't know. But oh dude. Now hopefully we can. Oh god. It's pouring them. Alright so. Code has been hanging out right outside my doorstep. Like. Apparently. They, they like to hang out like right outside Jita. To do all their their malicious ganking and stuff like that because apparently they don't want to be too far away from Jita 
because the further away that they are, the more likely they're going to get ganked for stealing other people's stuff. So they don't gank you way out there. They, they, they gank you right by Jita because then they can like go and sell their stuff right at Jita and it decreases the chance that they'll get ganked. That's that's what like I mean I, I can appreciate where the gankers are coming from. I mean you, you you gotta destroy stuff out there and you know so you can keep the money flowing you know because destruction sometimes brings you know some opportunities for people to make a little bit of money. But whenever they just do nothing but destruction, I'm telling you it, it it's probably not such a good thing because they, they take it too far. It's true. They, they might take it just a little bit too far because there's so much more that we could be doing together, like building an entire, an entire like super mega army fleet of like billions of ships and then go and play, play blow up ships with each other. But no, we're going to just going to like play blow up ships with each other until there's no ships left. I'm just, I don't, I don't even know. I, I just play the mineral market. Don't look at me. I don't. I don't even know how to play this game. I just know how to do the the economy. I'm just saying, just the economy, which I don't even know. May, may, maybe at some point in time, I'm gonna have to like most definitely. I'm gonna have to get really good at some of this other stuff. We don't even have a lot of like skills and I have to buy up all these these skills still now I I still have like years worth of like well, okay I got 38 million total skill points I don't even know what that means if that's even good or not it's probably not that good but I mean it's all been natural progression and uh, eh, maybe maybe one of these days I'll be like off the industrial kick whenever I'm sitting here like with hundreds of billions of iskies and I'll be like I don't want to trade anymore I want to blow things up and then I'll just start blowing things up for a living but until that time you know I'm just gonna keep playing in the market and stuff like that and eh, hopefully it works hopefully it'd be good and uh oh no I have no idea how many more jumps we have to go. I just know where I'm at right now, and I know... I know we have to make it there, and I don't want to get blown up because I am carrying what, what looks like to be 377 million isk worth of tritanium. Full cargo lo load of nothing but trit, yo. <laughs> this is why I like being a trit trader. Like, no joke for real. I love being a trit trader because, like, I'm carrying everything I have in my ship right now. And it's only 377 million. So you could basically be like, well, should we go ahead and gank him? It's just 377 million isk. That's probably still a pretty good gank because I mean, but you'd have you'd have to I don't know, I I don't I really don't know if that that's gonna actually work out. But I don't know, because the only thing is is I know for a fact when it comes down to it, people play the money game of will I lose more if I do this or will I gain. And I don't think you'd really gain by blowing up my ship right now when it's full of titanium. Because you'd have to use like a whole bunch of firepowers and get a whole lot of people involved and take out a freighter. But, I mean, it could be worth it. I, I just don't know. I'm not a ganker, so I don't think that way. Ah, there we go. Looks like changing up our market orders have actually allowed us to start getting a little bit... As your Plago Clays... Yeah, yeah. 
Hopefully we'll start getting a little bit more stuff here in a little bit. It looks like we're coming up on New Kaldari already. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Ugh. I don't think we're gonna make it. I don't think we're gonna make it. We're like two jumps away from Jita. We're, we're carrying like a whole ton a whole ton of stuff will we make it I don't know I can only hope and I know that there's probably people out there who are like yo Savik says uh, the loot fairy will eat up all of that trip too <laughs> the loot fairy And how's it going on, you guys? Uh, I'm just... I don't even know. I, I'm, I'm hoping I don't get ganked. Like, that, would, that wouldn't... That would not make my day. But, I mean, to be completely fair, I mean, I guess I have it all on, on video camera for evidence for the, the police. Hopefully hopefully the police will come, come, and, come and beat up whoever ganks me. Because, lol. Imagine, imagine calling the police like, "Yo, he blew up my ship!" Like, it, it's a, it's a video game. Calm down. There's no being calm. Not anymore. Not when we're flying around twenty dollars ships, two hundred dollars ships, expensive ships. Not my concern though, because yo. That's what I like about this game. Like, you can spend so much time doing something, and next thing you know, somebody just comes in like, Oh, I'm just going to blow you up now. Like, okay, dude. Thanks. And, and you can get as mad as you want, but it's still not going to stop the fact that that just happened. Oh, look at that. Charon. Those things are pretty, yeah. I like those ships. I like my ship better, though. My ship looks like a giant cube. Alright, it looks like I think we're coming into... Yep, we're into where we need to be. Alright, let's be scared. There's like... Does it look like anybody's going to attack us right now? I don't, I don't know. Let's just, hopefully we get lucky. The obelisk is the best industrial. What is a Weber? What is, what is a Weber? I, I, Save, Saviex just says, oh, why don't you have a Weber with you? But what is a Weber? I don't even know what a Weber is. Like, you have to explain that to me. And oh, oh, please, please. Please just just shoot on over there to the the navy assembly plant. There we go. Oh yeah. Now we're now we're cooking with Crisco. All right. Yep. But see, like you're sitting there asking me, like, what? Uh, why don't I have a Weber with me? I don't even know what a Weber is. Like when it comes down to the all the nasty nitty and gritty stuff, like fittings, how to, how to how to do combat missions, how to PvP, I have no idea. But when it comes down to the the actual market, I'm like oh, I can understand that, which is probably like it, the market's really complicated. But once you actually learn it, it's like actually probably the best market in a video game right now, like. I was so used to the whole auction house format of most of the market economies and video games, but then I took a look at Eve. I'm like, this makes a lot of sense, but it, it is a lot harder. But I, I actually appreciate this whole market economy a lot better than an auction house. And it looks like, dun 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 dun. If we're lucky, we don't get blown up right here. This is where I lost my one ship, like right here. 
Ugh. Just dock. Just dock. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Nice. And here it is. So happy. And I guess it is time to go ahead and... Oh my god, we got so much stuff here, don't we? Ah, oh, here we go. View market details, just to make sure. 450. And I guess we're just going to go ahead and sell that off. Immediate, no broker fees, which is zero. A little bit of sales tax, about 1%. It happens. And boom. That looks like we still got like four million left. We're gonna go ahead and sell it off for four forty-eight. Uh, whoever this is right here with the four the four forty-eight market order right there, you are the real MVP for stabilizing the market. And I guess that would be Zeloy Targash Targish. Thank you. Thank you for the money. And uh, DJ Cougar, yo, thank you too for that big chunk of money. That, that was a lot of money. All right, let me go ahead and check. Another alt character that webs your freighter into warp under four seconds. It has to be in your core or you will be concorded. See, that's just too much work. That requires me to, to, to use an extra person that's like me. Why, why would you want me to do... Like, I'm running around in, like, high sec just, just picking up shipments. Go, going into warp with an extra person for hundreds of... Hundreds and hundreds of jumps a day... That's too much work. I, I, I honestly think you're thinking way too far into it. Like, it, it's, it's risk. No matter how you, how you even put it together, it, it, you're still risking no matter what. But having, having like, I don't know, extra stuff to to go and, you know try to get all your stuff together like with a Weber alt I mean that's just that just seems like too much work yeah let's just be real and I guess now we just made all this isk and we're up to oh we did pretty good now we gonna have to like sit there and do all this other stuff about more consolidating and ugh, it's too much ooh we have nine million mexalon Ooh, let's go ahead and see about selling some of this off for 72. Oh, lucky me. And we can get some for, oh yeah. No, we're not going to let the prices go up on this at all. Oh. I'm so torn right now. I know I'm going to make a profit off of this because I bought it around 70 but to go up just to 71 oh, I don't even know. I just don't know. Oh, decisions, decisions, decisions. Reducing the risk is the name of the game. It's not a law, just a suggestion. It's true. I mean, it's true there's Saviak. I mean, but, I mean, we, the risk is going to be there regardless. I mean, you can re, you can reduce the risk just a little bit here and there, but, I mean, it's still always going to be there. It's, it's not like if I'm going to be sitting there with traffic controller, like, sitting there trying to bump me and stuff, I'm not going to be sitting there and be like, wait, I got a web alt right now. Stop bumping me. <laughs> like... <laughs> he's not gonna care he's just gonna call his buddies and try to blow you up but I don't know it's just too much work for me but I, I do I, I, what I want to do is I want to actually try to at least do one of those other suggestions that was like 
the insta dock warp thing or insta warp when you're coming out of dock now that seems pretty interesting i don't, I don't know it, it i'm probably not going to do it though <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why let's see i i know i gotta head out let's see we're gonna go ahead and head to i guess we'll go pick up some dense veldsvar can't believe we're starting to pick up millions of this stuff which is pretty nice I guess what we're going to have to do is go and run this to one of our little factories and whatnot. We're going to go ahead and close that for a minute. and Look at that rattlesnake. Why do they call it a rattlesnake? It looks more like a scorpion. I, I don't know if you guys noticed that, but it, it really does. I like, I like the way my obelisk looks so much different from that obelisk. Like, see? Cause mine's special. Lol. But as it stands right now, I'm just happy that I'm not actually hauling anything. I have nothing in my cargo hold. Okay. Okay. I understand. I don't even know what the heck that was. Let's see. How many jumps do we have to take? Uh, it's not going to tell me. It's just not going to tell me. <sighs> Alright, so there's going to be like three jumps. Oh my gosh. That's what happens, though, I guess. All right, here we go. So we've, we've moved at least 89 million trit from here to there. Got that little bit of money. So I'm happy with that. That's going to keep my orders up floating for a while longer, even though I, could, I should probably just start making some new orders here and there. I can't believe that we've made that much money on Maxalon. Hopefully we can get more a little bit later. If that price goes up. Which I'm more concerned with the trick, really. Because it's like the the main thing and one of the easiest things to trade with. It, it's been so stable. But I guess it's going up like crazy. So I guess the stabi stability is not really there because it's going up it's not stable if it's going up stable means even so it is breaking out it is doing good things all right pyrite maybe I should probably you know what goes up must come down but th this stuff has got like a history of going up and down oh it was really up here ooh so it's gone up that far and now it's just sitting, ooh I, I think I might get into some pyrite just looking at how far it just dropped like that it was up this far it I know it used to be up to like nine. Oh yeah. I don't think it's gonna get any further this way. Oh, it's gone it, up to like ten. Wow. That's 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 forever. Ooh. Okay. Well, Pyrite, you've had quite a long history, haven't you? Now what should I do with you? Should I go ahead and invest in Pyrite? Are you going to go back up to 10? Because if you are, I'm just going to hold on to you until then. <laughs> just imagine. I like double my, my, my iskies to the billions. Maybe I should do something like that. I think it would be fantastic. Alright, so... With that being said, let's go. 
Mexilin, Mexilin, you've been having some serious issues lately. Oh, yeah. So, I don't know exactly what... Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. I like the way that looks. So, it has been going from 60 down to... Okay, so it's right around, what, 75? That does not seem right. Oh, God. All right, reset view. Hmm. Reset view. Why are you not working? Well, I'm looking at this, and I'm like... Judging from the, the whole graph right now... It's, I, I think it's going to go down more than anything. Like, that's just by looking at the graph. It looks like it's going to shoot downwards. And I'll tell you why. Because when you start looking at the actual numbers right here, what we have is, like, everything is starting to get, like, from... Well, actually, we're saying about 75 is what the sell side of things is right now. And because I don't really work much on the so the selling side of things, unless people start going crazy and buying up Mexilon uh, via the sellers, it, it will be able to go up if it, people start buying it. But unless people start buying it, that means you know they're not going to have the money to put the actual buy orders up to buy more for all those people that are trying to you know be traders and stuff like that so this stuff needs to sell so this stuff can get some more orders in but I guess you know it's like what 71 I'm buying it for 68 77 just to try to be opportunistic I mean you got you gotta be opportunistic in this game or it's just not gonna work out in your favor and uh yo welcome to the to the stream everybody how's it going everybody Thank you, thank you, and hello. <sighs> Mexilon just makes me mad. It's just recently started making me mad because, like, I, I just don't know. Can I get over here to move that around? Right, what just happened? Oh, it looks like we have one hour until the server goes down. For a few minutes, at least. It's, it's pretty much been my life for, like, the past week. Like, I've been trying my best to, like, stream every day, but it has not been working out because, like, I've been, like, so sleepy lately. Don't ask me why. But I've been so sleepy lately, but I'm always up around this time, so I have not missed a cluster shutdown because and it's like six in the morning right now where I am so if that tells you anything about my sleep schedule it's like yeah I don't I don't really sleep at nighttime I sleep during the day <laughs> I haven't missed a single one of these things yet so but usually whenever once the, the cluster shuts down I know it's gonna be back up in like a few minutes but I usually just go to bed then Unless I'm like still awake and then I'm like eh. And oh my god, why are we almost not there yet? Oh wait, we are almost there. Like like five million kilometers away. Which I don't even know how long a kilometer is. I'm an American. If you told me miles, I I'd know what that was. But I don't know. America. And y'all have to excuse me, because, like, at least I'm not smoking cigarettes. Let's just be real. Because that stuff's expensive. I'd probably already be broke. Oh, I 
keep hearing all that money. Are we almost there yet? Come on. All right, so it looks like we're coming into the School of Applied Knowledge in uh, a name of a system I can't pronounce. Okanato? 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 I don't even know if that's the right word. But you know what? It sounds like O Canada, so we're just gonna go there. Alright, so wow, seventy million in, in dense Veldspar. Interesting. Let's see, where are we gonna take this? Where are we gonna go next is the big question. Not Jita. Ooh. Otella. Ooh, that's actually a really good place to go. Four jumps away, and we're going to pick up some Azure Plagocyte. Or uh, Plague Case. Clace. Uh, everything's a site, so I'm just going to be like, site this, site that. Alright, let's see. Well, from Mexilon. Let's see. Let's check out the Azure Plague Clace market. It says that I should be actually getting most of this stuff right now. I, it should be me. Like, no no joke for realsies. Yeah, that's right. It's gonna, like, be all higher in my chair and stuff. Oh, wow. Maybe this is why I'm, like, all weird feeling like I have not been sitting in a chair for quite the long time like I, for the for past few years I've been just sitting cross-legged on the floor playing Xbox one and now I finally have a computer chair a nice computer and it's amazing it's amazing just amazing so I'm pretty happy pretty pretty stoked and hopefully we can start warping on out of here. Now, th the thing is, what I really don't mind about is, like, the waiting and all this other stuff. And, you know, a lot of people say, just flying in an obelisk is probably boring. Well, the thing is, like, I never think that because right, right here, right now, I don't even care about flying through space. It's about the windows. And, like... We have this window, this window, we have the, the market, we have our wallet, and all sorts of goodies right here. That is pretty much where the game lies. Because, I mean, when you play the market like I am, it's like that's the only thing that really matters. Is where, where you are, where you can go pick something up at, and, you know, knowing every, all this information at your fingertips. And judging from all of this, what we have and what we don't I don't know we should be getting a lot more business and what I think is actually happening is not the fact that people are actually making buy orders that are bigger I think that a lot of people either they're not mining or they are but they're just doing everything themselves like they're like hauling their own stuff to get their best prices which is which is good I mean pe people want the best deal and they're willing to work for it but the thing is like even like I I like to you know throw myself out there and try to make it easier on everyone else like if you don't want to haul your own stuff to make your own best deals just just sell it right away to the station let me let me deal with it you know of course you're not gonna get like the the biggest bang for your buck but you're gonna pass the buck down to me I mean that's just this is how it goes but if you if you want to sit there and fight over an extra hundred hundred thousand and go run it up somewhere else you know I mean that that that's all on you I mean, I'm not, I'm not mad, mad about that. It's just you putting in your extra hustle, getting that extra bit of money. But when it, when it all comes down to it, like, as long as, as long as my wallet stays red, 
with these big old green things showing up every so often, I'm actually pretty happy because I get this feeling that I'm helping everyone else out. You know, even though it might not be the best, best price, I, I am pulling some weight and allowing people to make a little bit more money by either being competitive on the market, pushing the actual prices up a little bit more, or, you know, just giving somebody money for a little bit of work that they did gathering some minerals and as long as my wallet stays red I'm 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 actually pretty happy but it's not just about being happy it's also about getting those big green numbers most definitely and I got to go ahead now every so often I I have to go and check the actual chat because you never know, someone might actually be talking to me and it's not like they actually show this stuff up on the screen for me. Well, they could, but I had to take that off because it was making me angry. <laughs> well, I guess we're still waiting to go into warp. And I'm I'm like completely clueless on what the heck I'm doing right now. I know that I'm, I, it's, whenever you have all your orders set up and it's just time to go pick stuff up, I sometimes have like the hard time of actually being like chill because like there's not a lot of stuff that you can sit there and do you know in between jumping and stuff like that when you have everything set up because like I have all my orders set up and either I can like sit here and go through all of them again just to make sure that I'm not getting out bid modify order go up 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 we're good 1901 all right that's that should give me a little bit more zadrine not really though all right let's see vicious pyroxerxes we should be good on that ooh Looks like somebody is offering higher, higher prices for Veldspar. And now they w want me to pay 11.17 for it. I'm doing it right now. Ha, ha, ha. That's right. Alright, so we just checked out Veldspar. And we... Yeah, we're still good on the Tritanium. Solid Pyroxerxes. Wow, somebody really wants all that. But we still got the the region order. It's just not a lot of miners out right now. Let's see. Region order. And this and eh, Scordite's pretty good. I don't know if anybody's actually going to be selling it to me. But it, it should be a good price if somebody does. Like I said, I'm not going to sit there and give the best prices possible. But I'm going to give the best prices possible on the low side of things. That way I can try to make some money myself. I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a nice guy. I'm just not that nice to where I'm just going to be giving away free stuff. Even though I, I could just give away some free stuff. Well, let's just be real. I, I, I want to be that nice guy that gives away free stuff, but... This is EVE Online, and whenever you say free stuff, people are like, I want free. Give me free or I blow you up. And I don't like the whole blow me up part. So that's why people on EVE Online are not going to get free stuff. You know, I have to work for it. That's right. In some way, shape, fashion, or form. Gotta work. Regent Donkey. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, what? They're like five. They really want some Pyroxerxes. And I guess this person does too. But we're going to go ahead and modify the order. Go up a little bit more on that. Go 4570. That should 
put us good on that. Let's see, Pyrite. What is Pyrite doing right now? Uh, it says that we still got the numbers for that, so we're good. Oh, five jumps from Jita for the Plague of Clays. Ten jumps from... Oh, yo, I've been fighting with this person for a while. They're, they're like, just going up by one each time. So we're going we're gonna to go ahead and go up by even more than one. Because this is my stuff. Mine. You hear me? Mine. All right, so th that should have been changed. All right, there we go. We're at 65.07, so we're topping it off on the region buy side thing. And we're actually warping through. We don't need oxygen. Do we really even need this stuff? Oh, wow, we still got stuff right here trying to get sold. Ooh, gross. Oh, looks like these guys just be like, no, we're not going to let him get his Noxium. It's like just, ugh, you got to be kidding me. All right, so modify order. We'll go up more than that. There we go. Give me that Noxium. And I think we've already checked on Mexilin, but we'll check it again. Wow, he's just went up another bunch of notches. Let's see, we'll go even further up. I like sevens, by the way, guys. I really do. All right, I'm not going to buy any me Mega Sight right now. Massive Squirtite. Oh, jeez. Everyone is just covering me. There we go. And Isogen. Do we even got an order for ice? Yes, we sure do. Oh, we're going to have to go up to 48. Let's go up to 48 on this. And we'll just go for 7. Just, yeah, just, for, just for good measure. Alright, looks like... I think we're coming into dock right now. Oh, I... I <laughs> Sarah! Sarah, hey! Is he ranting again? <laughs> <laughs> so do you get up to much outside of high sec no i usually just stick to high sec for right now um mostly because I mean, like i can just sit there and cover the regions in high sec i mean somebody got to do this stuff you know somebody's got to trade into all these regions and stuff like that it might as well be me because i love i love the market i love the market but I wouldn't know what to do with myself in, in low sec. Because I'd probably just sit there in a station. And just, like trying to control the entire economy of low sec. Like yeah let's go. Alright so here we go. Let's go ahead and get this stuff reprocessed. Ooh. 143 million iskies. And it turns into 162 million iskies. Let's go. I'm ready. Woo. Yeah is good Regent Donkey says I can dig it and Sarah is like yo hey yes Sarah how you doing like right now I actually don't even have things set up right let's see let's see if I can't set this up do 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 chat panel is that gonna work hopefully that works All right, so I'm sitting in an expert housing station right now. We've just managed to pick stuff up, drop it down. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this stuff here and look for some more stuff to go and hopefully it'd be like some, uh, we're looking for ore. Oh god, it's so far away, and I guess the timer's ticking down for bad things to happen. Now we got—I know we got a lot more ore laying around somewhere, and it just looks like we've been buying. Like here recently, I just started getting inside the the ore market, which is pretty much the mineral market, just m mineral plus. It's a lot more actual work to do ores because. 
I refine at only my my actual stations, my expert housing stations, because my reputation is a little bit higher with them, so I get better perks and stuff like that. So running everything to one of those stations is kind of kind of a pain, especially for the little stuff. Wow. All right, so we're gonna head over here next. And I think I gotta check out the concentrated Veldspar market because we have a lot of millions of the Veldspar stuff, but I don't know if we still have anything. Let's see, concentrated Veldspar. <coughs> yeah, we still got a market order up. And it's region wide and it's still alive and kicking. Eh. And as it stands, this, these are the only real minerals and stuff I'm going to really do. I think I do have all the minerals, but it's just the trit, pyrite, mexilin, and maybe the noxium and isogen. Zidrine, not so much. And megasite, not so much. And, uh, and I know that there has to be like another one, but I'm not quite sure. Lol. Lol. But it does look like per taste soon. Region Donkey says, I'm a null dude myself. That's actually pretty cool. Maybe one of these days I'm going to get in a null sack. But I want to make sure I have like a lot of isk when I do. Because I want to I want to take an entire region of null sack. And just have it be like my, my little economy zone like make my own little economy inside nullsec now i know that they have stations out there in nullsec so i'd have to pick pick the nullsec with the most stations so i can do the regional buy orders through all that Oh, Regent Donkey says, if you're interested in chatting to some other vets, I'd recommend you join Best of Us in a Game channel. I, I will look into it there, Regent Donkey. Thank you very much for the information. Very, very nice of you. And, uh, let's see. Oh... Oh, I can't see through the my, my person being right there. I can't see anything. Oh well. I, 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 I'm actually just gonna write that down then. Haha! -ha. Ah, here we go. We got paper. Mm -hmm. Alright, and I'll be joining that chat room probably once I'm not live anymore. Ah, uh, there we go. As you can see, we are actually starting to get a lot more cells. Yes, and a great time to actually do your market orders is right before the servers go down and uh, a little bit after. Because everyone likes to change everything up. So now we are getting some cells. And I think it's the last minute cells before the cluster shuts down. Which I guess we have... 10.21 to 11. And daily downtime will begin in one hour. So I mean we still got a little bit of time. It's true. And I'm just, I don't even know. Concentrated Scordite, yep. We've got everything right here in this lineup should be everything that I deal with. Except for that Mexilon. I don't like Mexilon. Yeah, we should be doing alright. I mean, some of these, like, if you get in a big order from Jita and it's like for five jumps away, 
It's like maybe your best chance, best option is to just wait that out because it's Jita and they want their stuff. They want it right now. But I guess as long as we're still making some money now, what I need to actually do at some point in time is I need to go out to the other regions, high sec of course, and start putting down some more orders for everything everywhere. Um, and really and truthfully, I can only really do m ore orders, orders with ore in the forge region, unfortunately. Uh, because I'm not going to be able to reprocess out in Amar or Renz or do, do Dixie. Do Dixie. Do Dixie, Do Dixie. The Dixie place. Or Orsalot. Or wherever the heck they're, like, heck. Yeah, heck. Heck even. Like, I don't have any reputation gains with any of those other factions out there to the point that I have like 8% or an 8 standing with expert housing. So, I'm not going to be able to do any ores until I go out to one of those other little regions and actually start grinding some rep with somebody. So, until then, we're, I'm just going to be buying minerals and, over there and these, these other regions just straight up minerals and I uh, guess transport them to wherever's gonna make the most money I'm not quite sure oh no oh no it looks like my girlfriend's here she's home all right so I'm gonna have to to go right now dun 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 but it was it was nice chatting with every last one of you guys you are all awesome and uh, I'll be back to do some more later and we'll, we'll try to figure out exactly how this Plex injection is going down and how it's going. And hopefully everybody's getting a lot more money. But, eh, we'll see. We will see. Deuces, guys. And until next time. Hopefully I'm back soon. Hopefully. <laughs>